I do have, I have a kind of a, a speculative science fiction idea. I don't necessarily think that this is something that anyone is working on, but I had this thought of like, what's the next thing? You know, we had, you know, tales around the campfire, music, and then we had books mm -hmm. and plays. And then, uh, you know, uh, movies and television. What's next? And I think I figured it out. It's a it's a little a little talking guy. Just a little talking guy. Maybe maybe we call him Merlin. Imagine a Furby. Okay. But he can actually talk to you. So it's like an Alexa, but instead of it looking like a coffee mug thing, it's like a, uh, you got some like Teddy Ruxpin technology there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and people are throwing out their television sets. They don't talk to their families anymore. Everybody wants to talk to Merlin. Oh, I just got a Merlin. You know what he told me? He said that he saw he saw two of his friends and they were out on a date together and nobody knows that they were even dating can you believe it Merlin's just making up stories that's all he does <laughs> they're not pre-recorded this is like an artificial intelligence that's just good enough that it can kind of carry on a conversation and then he's just a complete liar just pulling things out of his ass all the time. He sounds kind of like the Patron. Would be, it would be so entertaining. If I had a little tiny guy just sitting on my counter, maybe he's like uh, like Mr. Conductor size. He lets his little legs dangle over the edge of the kitchen counter. I come home and I'm like, oof, it was a long day. How was your day, Merlin? And he's like, I got in a fight. <laughs> Tell me more about it. <laughs> Now is 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 this uh is Merlin uh M Merlin the uh wizard? No, it's just a it's actually it's 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 there's no vowels. It that's it's better for SEO that way. People can find Merlin easier if you search it on the internet if it's spelled a weird way. Mm -hmm. That way you don't get any of the other Merlins that might be out there. Well, Meet isn't there Merlin. a danger that uh, people uh, might think with without vowels that it is Marlin? Maybe it is. It's up to you. It's hey, Marlin. Whatever we weird little guy you want. Yeah. He's a little, he's kind of chubby. He's very chubby. He's almost, he has a baby's body. <laughs> Can can you buy new outfits for him? Yeah, he comes naked, but he doesn't have genitals. He's just a little pink blob, and he loves to lie. <laughs> I'm making dinner, and Merlin's like, "Do you want to hear about the time that I uh, that I got in a fight?" With Dave Dravecki, the the Major League Baseball player with one arm. <laughs> yes, I do, Merlin. You get in a lot of fights. Yeah, I do. I get in a lot of fights because I don't put up with shit. Maybe maybe Merlin learns. He's always learning from your preferences. Yeah. The more he, interesting you are, he won't tell you the same fight story twice. Like he's like your family members, but better. Yeah, he's always got a new story for you. I really like the idea of Merlin. Do you think that Merlin ever drove the pace car at the Indy 500? <laughs> if you want him to, he has. He actually, he drove it in the race. Is that true, Merlin? Yeah, I said, fuck this. <laughs> 
the pedal to the metal. What would I, happen I ran though Danica when, Patrick when right into the wall? Call, calling Merlin on his bullshit. And you're like, you've never, you've never left this house, Merlin. Why don't you go outside and see the real world? Touch grass, you- Merlin. <laughs> I think this could be I don't one. think you're cool, Merlin. I think that you're a loser. And then oh. you pick him up by by the back of his little pants that you just gave him and give him a little wedgie. Now this is something I didn't, bully I didn't take Merlin. into account. How does Merlin work if you bully him? Does he take it in stride? No, I guess not, because I mean You big man anything, getting in fights all the time. Why don't you fight a man with two arms, Merlin? Yeah, because here's the thing. Like if, if social media has taught us anything, it's that uh, conflict is better for engagement. And also, you get mad enough and squash that little Merlin, you're just going to go out and buy another Merlin. We're making more money that way. What if your new Merlin finds the body of your old Merlin? <laughs> <laughs> Now it's become some sort of a, a Black Mirror episode. A grim Black Mirror <laughs> episode. Man, I really love the idea of the next, the next big thing in entertainment just being a like he'd be essentially somewhere between a drunk and like a demented uncle. Mm-hmm. Who just hangs out in your house? And maybe, maybe he goes with you, like you like you get a shirt with a front pocket on it, and he'll just perch in there. Oh yeah, and he's We're got sell- Bluetooth capability, so like nobody else gets to hear your Merlin stories. Like his lips are moving, but but you're hearing in that in your AirPods in your, in your AirPods, or or he can connect to the car stereo. <laughs> <laughs> You're just driving around. He's he's in a booster seat in the back. You're looking in the mirror at him. Yeah, he's back there. The dog's chewing on him. This is this is honestly, I think, the bravest idea I've ever had. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. <laughs> 